Hello there everybody, Sam Strains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to another live stream. Man, I love doing these. We're on episode 4 of 5 as well, which is crazy, I can't believe we're almost at the end of another series, it's crazy. See, uh, series 9, this one by the way, so next will be the Big Ten, mm, don't know what to do. If you've got ideas, let me know. Anyway, how is everybody doing? How is everyone? Let's see, anybody wants a shout out, get yourself in the chat and I will do that for you. Is the audio in sync? Uh, I've had problems with that, it's quite a complicated stream today, quite a lot of stuff to show so do let me know in fact i might just listen to a bit just to double check hell well it is in sync that is something maybe we're gonna have a good day today then shining time for thank you so much j70 tram with henrietta four plank wagon and a van another four plank wagon and the any brake van mm, shining time for thank you so much and there have been a lot of uh, super chats already thank you guys so so much uh, i have been noting them down those that have requests so i will do that William Babcock, no worries, can't make you today, unfortunately, can you run the J15 and the J50 with a mixed goods train and an LMR brake? Sure can, William, thank you very much, and Alco Random, hello, how's your day, he says, well, mine is good, thank you, I hope yours is, wow, there's a lot coming through, Sideways66779, hello, Sam, how are you, could you do a B12 mm -hmm. hauling, a nice rake of LMR teaks, have a good day. Man, there's some good ideas here. And Sparky again, last request. Could you run your O-Gage 14XX with one or two wagons? Thanks for all your content. That is a pleasure, Sparky, and thank you so much. That is very, very kind. Sparky, I might save some of yours for next week, because I think I've got four, and I think other people might be a bit disgruntled if I just <laughs> run four of yours in a row. But they will get done, don't worry. All right, let's see. Adam Rushton is there. Shout out to my mum, please. Toby the tram engine, it's her birthday. Oh, so Toby's mum, happy birthday to you. Love seeing the Derby Lightweight yesterday, so can we please see it again with a box van and Bullman? Nice. Yeah, they did used to run with uh, box vans, I think. Unless I've just dreamed that. But yeah, I think they did. That's pretty cool, actually. So thank you, Doc. Sure. James Wilson, shout out to you. Can you ram Toby, says Spectrum. Poor Toby. I don't think Toby would like that. I don't think he deserves that. Uh, Aiden Ray, yes, you can have a shout out. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. It, it is Andy. That's his username. Yeah, you can have one. Mm. I think I know who the guest is. El Chipo. Mm, says Tom McAdams. What a guess. Whatever led you to that conclusion? I won't comment. It could be. It could be somebody else. It could be El Chipo and somebody else. I'm not saying anything, but we'll see. We'll see. Thomas Prendy, yes, you can have a shout out. Shout out, please, says James Keir. William Town, can you, oh, this is nice. Thank you very much, William. He says, can you run the Duke Dog with Great Western Clorestory Coach and a rake of Great Western Composites too, please? Now, that is an idea I can get down with. Thank you very much for that. Carl Thompson, hi to you. We'll do loads of shout outs later on then, but like I say, we've got a busy episode today. Lots of cool stuff to show. So I've got two special guests. That's the first thing. That's going to be crazy. I've got some unboxings to do. Three, in fact, including a different type of unboxing. I don't want any rude comments about this one, but that is one thing that I'm going to be opening up today, uh, or at least partially. There's quite a lot in there, so I'll, I'll show you a few bits of it. Uh, and of course, a lot of trains. I also want to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody who super chatted last episode. It was so crazy uh, the, the support that you guys give is incredible and you keep me going honestly you really do keep this channel alive and for that i'm so so grateful obviously also to just to say a huge thank you really to everyone who supports me and my channel via super chat i'll be giving away two brand new models at the end of the series and thank you to alco random could you run double headed t9 great idea thank you alco anyway i'm giving away two brand new models at the end of the series after every episode i'm adding each super chatter to a list and from that list i will be choosing two of you on episode five and i'll be just posting the models to you for free so the locos are this fantastic hornby terrier in the sec are green which is just beautiful and also this fantastic Hornby Ruston Shunter which is also in a lovely green army livery which is great. Thank you again if you're considering sending a super chat they really do go a long way to keep me and my channel running <laughs> for that I am so so grateful indeed so thank you very very much. 
Before we get started with all of the jolly stuff that's going to be happening today, oh, thank you, Kelly, I will take a look at that. I have got one very important thing to talk about. I got uh, contacted today by a company to say that since lockdown, there have been quite a lot of people, uh, young people, I think specifically, trespassing on real railways. Now, you can understand why people would want to do that. They're cool places to explore. You might get up close and personal with real trains great photo, uh, photographic opportunities, that sort of thing. But also it's really, really dangerous. People can and do get seriously injured or possibly even killed. And it's also illegal. You can get fined a thousand pounds. And if losing your life isn't bad enough, I think a thousand pounds fine is pretty crazy. So in response, there is the company called Backtrack or Down the Line, I think is the, uh, the regime they're running. It's a competition for 11 to 18 year olds. Uh, basically, all you have to do is submit a short film, uh, a script for a short film, or even a storyboard, if you like, about the dangers of trespassing. Um, follow the link in the description. There is one if you want to get involved. And if you win, uh, there are some amazing prizes to be won, including the GoPro Hero 8, which are amazing cameras, and they're worth a fortune as well. Uh, so yeah, get yourself in with a chance to win that and also obviously do your bit to promote anti-trespassing. And of course, don't trespass on real railways because we wouldn't want anybody to get hurt or even killed because of that. So yes, take that seriously. Right, let's do some requests then. Let's do the first round. Here are the first three. So we have, these are from last week, I believe. Oh, Lee Epic, thank you very much. Uh, hello, Buster, where I live. This stream is interfering with my sleep. Oh dear, sorry about that. I always try, well, uh, sorry, I've gone and missed it. Uh, I always stay for most of it. I have Lee Epic stream. Thank you so much, Lee Epic. I see what you did there. And Mr. Sandon says, that is a good looking Rustin. Thank you very much, Sandman, and I hope you do well in my little competition. Anyway, so me unwanted to see the Centenary Smokey Joe double heading with the Backman Douglas. Very strange combination, but I love it. As you can see, two gloss glossy locos that look fantastic with some freight. James Freeman on the inside line wanted to see uh, a rainbow train, so I did my best to remember the colours of the rainbow. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and then I think it was supposed to be yellow oh, i don't know now no richard of york gave battle so that's blue indigo and violet yeah so i just put uh, a blue one on the back for indigo and violet because i couldn't find anything like that and then this is the one i think you're all going to be like viridis coyote wanted to see stevenson's rocket running at high speed something we talked about last time i said i didn't want to do it but i would if someone paid me to on super chat so i am going to be doing that I don't think I've ever done it on video before because it's totally unrealistic and it is the old trying one that goes super fast and so that's what I've got on the track. It's not the new Hornby one. So we'll get the other two trains well out of the way, well out of harm's way first and then we'll try Rocket at full speed. Now it's only going to be one lap, I warn you, maybe two and I don't know if I'm going to go right up to full speed because I, I quite like this thing. I, I don't want it to completely burn out. But let's see what this has got in it, shall we? Here we go. Oh, my God. Where's it gone? Oh, just missed it. <laughs> there it goes. And obviously, this is live. Oh, my God. I have not sped this up. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah, I was not kidding, was I? You can probably see now why... <laughs> Oh, I don't want to do this too much. Oh no, wrong camera. Oh my God. All right, okay, 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 that's enough. <laughs> and that was 80% that was speed. Uh, it can go a lot faster than that. Man, that was insane. I mean, I knew it was fast, but I perhaps didn't quite realize it was as, as speedy as that. Wow. So there we go, Viridis. I hope that satisfies your curiosity on how fast the Rustons can, not the Rustons, the Rustons aren't that fast, the rocket, uh, you can see why I got that wrong, can go. Yes, insane. Right, what do people think to that? Talk about rocket, says E350TV. Yeah, by every means, this is definitely rocket by name and rocket by nature. Joseph Ha says, shout out, there we go. Sport full speed ahead rocket, says Adam Ruston. Yes, indeed. I've got this camera working again today, by the way. Brand new capture card for it. Quality doesn't look quite so good, I don't think, but it works. That's the main thing. I'm sorry, what? It goes faster, says Blissy Random. Yes, it goes faster. That was 80% speed. Um, I don't really want to find out what happens if I go any faster than that. I think it might end in smoke and flames, which is obviously not something I want to do. That was bleep phenomenal, says Davis Harrigan. Yep, it certainly is. And 
But a lot of people were confused as to why I said the new Hornby rocket runs so nice and slowly because really it was quite speedy. Well, now you can see what I have my frame of reference is for comparison. Uh, yeah, it suddenly looks a little bit slower, doesn't it? All right, what have we got here? Mark7188, keep up the great work, Sam. I love your channel. Thank you so much. And Takuma Sensei says, Rocket, tell me about it, man. Definitely a rocket in every sense of the word. Awesome. Well, thank you for those. Hope you like the Rainbow Train too. That looks awesome with the Jinty. Uh, yeah, it's just Indigo Violet. Now, obviously, I didn't go through my entire collection, uh, so maybe somebody will remember whether or not I've got purple rolling stock. If I had one of those purple Hornby A4s, maybe I could have used that for the Loco, but sadly I don't. But I've said for a long time that I would like one, so maybe that's something I should do at some point. But as it stands right now, I don't. <laughs> so that's that. Right, there we go then. Uh, now, I have written down that I'm going to ask what your favourite request was from that lot. But I don't think I will need to somehow. Luis Buscarino says, thank you for your videos. Oh, that is a pleasure. Thank you for your support. That is very kind of. Thank you for watching them mainly as well. Uh, MDH Games says, how is El Chivo's business? Sniff. I think El Chivo might be gifting us with his presence in a little while, so you can ask him yourself. We will see. And Co Caroli, I guess, uh, just bought an old AHM US Army set. And for the price, it came with a lot. Like a railgun, a boxcar that folds down to reveal AA guns. Whoa, would be interesting to see you. Wow, yeah, that would be interesting to try. Thank you so much for letting me know. Yes, I'll have to try one of those. Uh, Tom, the train man, can you run the 4MT? Good idea, that might be nice. Rocket baby, <laughs> Mark7188. Michael Cowan, enjoyed getting back into models through your channel. Hall class and some BR coaches, please cheers. Thank you so much, Michael. I could definitely do that, and that's really great to hear. I hope you're having a good time in the hobby. Uh, Tease Cottage Guy, yeah, you can have a shout out. Uh, Oliver McMahon, Mahan, Mahon, the lockdown's been all right for me, thank you, yes. Um, it involved a lot of staying at home, which I know for some people is a big change, but for me it really wasn't actually, it's just more of the same. <laughs> In fact, I spent more time out during lockdown because I went for walks and stuff because, yes, it affects you mentally, doesn't it? Knowing that you can't leave the house even if you wanted to. So I took, I made the most of going on those walks that we were allowed to go on. Uh, Spectrum says 9F, 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 9F. I have got some 9F action coming for you pretty soon. I do think though, perhaps, and that was, oh, there we go. Oh, Squiddy, let's just, let's read Squiddies and then I'll move on. Hi Sam, I'm enjoying the stream so far. Anyway, could you run the Dapol Great Western Rail Car? It's one of my favorites, simple yet fun. Sure, Squiddy, yes, I can do that. Now, I don't think I said this, but if you want your request run, I can see loads of them in the chat over there. Five pounds or the equivalent or more, and I will do that on stream. Just choose a loco, choose the rolling stock, and I will do it live for you for now though everybody's been asking about the special guest so let's introduce him shall we I'm stumbling over my words i think this is too exciting yes it is el cheapo Hi. That wasn't straight. Okay, uh, well, hello, I'm El Cheapo. This is the series where I take a look at cheap garbage that I found online. Interesting fact for you, today's stuff that I'm unboxing in the mystery box isn't actually a locomotive or a wagon. It did, however, come up when I did a search for HO scale locomotives and wagons. So let me show you what exactly this was. It was an AliExpress job again. Man, let me read you this title. So it is, just in case you're wondering what it is, it is a model scene terrain production simulation flower cluster wild rose flower DIY miniature landscape material <clears throat> for $4.90. Shipped to the UK from China for $4.90. Now that is pretty crazy, isn't it? So I hear you screaming into your computers. What are those like? They're supposed to be roses, I believe. Well, let's find out, shall we? Here they are. Now, I know some people might be a bit underwhelmed by the fact that I'm unboxing pretend roses on camera, but I think those people are very silly because there's very little in life that's more exciting than pretend roses reviewed on camera. As you can see, despite what the images showed on AliExpress, these are brown roses. Now, I would have said most roses are red, maybe some white, 
but generally brown roses are dead roses but we'll see maybe maybe they're not dead at all let's have a look at this then i like the box that they've come in but how does it open ah like that you see i mean if they were going to be dead roses then it would be okay that it's brown but as you can see they're on sort of tufts of green grass which looks incredibly lush and healthy which makes me wonder whether or not these are terribly realistic but i'm going to choose one at random i'm going to plant it on the layout Oof. no i'm not I'm not <laughs> Right, so I've bought these in the past on eBay, like grass clusters and stuff. And you kind of get tweezers and peel them off the back sheet and then they're sticky, they're self-adhesive. So you can stick them on the layout. The hilarious thing that I've literally only just realised is that they are, they are literally stuck fast onto, onto this base so that there is no way to get them off. Let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are awful. I, I thought this would not be interesting, but literally, let's try another one. No, there's, there's, no, there's no way to get those off. Come on. No, they are, they are permanent. So unless you want, like, crops in a line, those are absolutely useless. So there we go. El Cheapo has saved you some money. They're, they're stuck. I was going to plant one on the layout, but literally there is no way to do that. Um, maybe there's another way of getting them off that I'm not aware of, but they are stuck fast. They're, literally, there's no way to get those off. Not to worry, I, I had a feeling that might be a little bit underwhelming, so there is something else for El Cheapo to look at today. Are you ready? And I bought it literally for the thumbnail alone. This came up, by the way, when I did a search for model railways, so just bear that in mind when you see it. Are you ready? This is what AliExpress considers to be model railways. Four horses, each at a different angle, floating in space. One of them looks like it's falling from a big height. $1.90 though, $1.90 plus $1.60 shipping. I paid $3.25 because they were combined with other things. And here they are folks, three, four, four ponies. Let's have a look what they're like, shall we? Let's find out. This is quite interesting. Among the crumbs of the uh, the dead roses, which can never be put onto a layout because they're super glued to their container. Right, so this horse has got a scab on its back. That looks painful, we'll have to get the vet. Oh, and this horse is blind, you'll notice. It hasn't got, well, it hasn't even got milky blank eyes. It just has no eyes at all. I say that because this horse does have eyes, but they're sort of shark black eyes, dead eyes. See how close we can get. Ooh. It's actually quite terrifying, that, isn't it? Hmm. What do you reckon then? <laughs> Is that, was I wise to buy that? I did actually hide one on the layout, if you're interested. Uh, can you see it anywhere there? He's, he's, he is there. Let's see if anyone can see it while I look at the chat. Uh, Dan Salter says, can you run a 57XX in the middle of an auto coach sandwich? Sure, that sounds cool. Thank you very much. James Westwood, love to see the Fowler, I'm guessing Fowley, 040DM running. Mixed goods if you have one. I don't think I do, James, but thank you so much. Steam Traction Spotter, please can you run a Merchant Navy with a rake of Mark 1 coaches? I work on full size, size clan line and volunteer on Swanage Railway. Wow, that is pretty awesome. So Steam Traction Spotter, thank you very much. <laughs> Slightly uncomfortable, this. Robert Osborne, I send a pic of my model railway, my new trainer. Yes, you did. I looked at it on the member stream, though, actually. Those horses are the main event today. They certainly are. If you're interested in the size, I mean, they're not bad. They've just got sort of welts on them, sores, and those eyes, which are just hellish. Yeah, I mean, they're okay. They're not as entertaining as I hoped they would be. I think the just the position of them in the photo on AliExpress was funnier than the objects themselves. But don't worry, I've got some more fun stuff to show you next time, uh, said El Chifo, and I'll be back pretty soon. Uh, looks like they need to be put down, says William Town. I agree, William Town. If you've got any suggestions on how the horses can be put down in the most humanely way possible, um, please do let me know, and I will do that next time. Anyway, I've got some L cheapenings to do. I don't really know where I'm going with that. So I will see you all very, very soon um, on a future live stream, but I'll get Sam back in here. All right. I find it 
prepare an item review is a Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. Uh, what did you think then? It's not as clear cut. The last El Cheapo episode was fantastic. I got that HO wagon for a decent price. Really, really good. Uh, that Those, not so much. I can't believe those. Uh, can you believe that, El Cheapo? No, I, I can't believe it. Those the roses that would not separate from the base. One job. One job. Never mind. Right, the Duke of Rawser. Hey, Sam. Hope it's a good one. Could you run the Colic Goods with a rake of open wagons and a towed brake van? Cheers, Duke of Rawser. No problem. Yeah, I can certainly do that for you. How is your business, El Cheapo, says North Norfolk Railway Fan 2005. Uh, you've missed him, unfortunately, but I, I think today he's a little bit disappointed. Um, yes, he's had some bad luck, I think, on AliExpress. He's wasted about £10 of his money. He seems a little bit bitter about it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not bothered. I, I'll stay out of his business, but yeah, I don't think he's best pleased today. Anyway, we need some cheering up then, so let's move on and do some requests that I have left over from last week. All right, here we go. So this first one comes from Sideways66779 who wanted to see the B2 packet, which is right there, with some blood and custard coaches, here they come, and yes, also a banking loco, which I don't do very often, so that's pretty cool. We have the Fairburn tank, so Sideways66779, thank you very much to you, hope that's right for you. And also, the two engines appear to be running at pretty much the same speed, which is quite amazing given how different they are in size, but... As you can see, neither is struggling there, which is great. There we go. Right, do you want to see the next one then? That's this one in the foreground with Tornado at the front. So let me figure out who this one was from. So this one was from Sparky129Games, who wanted to see Tornado, and we certainly got that, let me show you what else, with a large freight train. And I have gone for a pretty large one today. So we've got the long box cars, box vans, sorry, I'm not American. And, I mean, they're going to take a while to go by, but when they do, you will see I've also got a towed brake van, which Sparky asked for as well. So thanks very much for those, Sparky. Cool, look at that. It doesn't usually occur to me to run freight with Tornado, so that's probably not something I do very often, or possibly ever before. But she manages them very, very easily, as you can see. Quite a powerful loco, the Hornby Tornado. There we go, and not a sliver of wheel slip either. Does slow down a little bit on the incline, but traction 100%. I feel like you could put any load behind that loco and it wouldn't care. It's very, very impressive. Next up, we have another nice pair. We have Rowan Marchbank, who wanted to see both ROD locomotives hauling both rail guns. And what an idea that is. So there they go. A precarious train, but it seems to work. So thank you so much Rowan for that, hopefully that is what you had in mind, and as you can see, it's another good choice of loco, not to, locos rather, because they run more or less at the same speed again, which is great. So thank you Rowan, yep, the war trains are pretty popular, I would say, so that is a very good choice. Alright, moving on then. Up next we have one for Bearded Frodo, thank you very much Bearded Frodo, you wanted to see the two W4 packets, which I have to say just look amazing together, don't they? I almost wish they had the, the same livery, so that they'd match even better, but no, they do look great. Plus some, well, a goods train I think he said, so there you go Bearded Frodo, and I've put also a nice pillbox on the back as well. So thank you Bearded Frodo, hope you like seeing that. Nice assortment of wagons as well. So a bit of Oxford, bit of Backman, bit of Hornby there. Next then, this one is from Jay. Jay wanted to see the Backman Oliver pushing the troublesome trucks, a grey wagon and a toad brake band, the Backman toad, down Gordon's Hill. So it's coming up to Gordon's Hill now. Let's watch Oliver do that. Here we go. So there you go, Jay. Looks like, well, I won't say Oliver can do it until he's reached the bottom. That's tempting fate, isn't it? But there we go. Oh, <laughs> yep, derailment. Oh, dear. Right, who was to blame? Ah, not going to find out. It's come to a stop. It was one of the troublesome trucks. It's, oh, there we go. No, no, it's re-railed back now. I guess that is one of the few truck designs that is actually allowed to derail and still be prototypical. So that's not bad. 
Next, an awesome request from Daniel Bolam. Thank you so much. Daniel wanted to see a 9F, going nice and slow actually, with some Pullman coaches. So there you have that. Out of focus Pullman coaches. Now oh, that's better. Yeah, I don't know why I decided to run the 9F so slowly this time. Uh, no particular reason. It looks alright though. We've got Oliver's troublesome train passing by just while we're waiting for the 9F. Look at that. To say those are Hornby Railroad locos, they are fantastic, aren't they? Very much so. So thank you very much, Daniel Bolam. That is awesome. Uh, not a, I don't think a stream goes by when I don't run the 9F, so this one's now no exception. So thank you for that. Love the 9Fs, and I know a lot of other people do as well. So that is an awesome, awesome choice. So here comes another pretty cool pushed train, this time from the Duke of Rawsome. So thank you so much, as always, Duke. You wanted to see the 03 shunter. There it is. Or was it an 04 now? Ugh, I always get that wrong. Pushing the freight anyway with a brake van. So there we go. Goat's actually getting faster and faster for some reason. Look at it go. Blimey. <laughs> There we go, a little bit slower along the flat. Okay, so the next loco, anyone guess what that is? You could put it in the chat while I look. <laughs> so the next one is from Mega Train Lover, who wanted to see some Monsal design locos run together. So I have, did you guess it? Let's see, we have the Lord Nelson class. Let's get this nice and slow, look at that for a crawl. Lord Nelson with the S15, which is also a 460 designed by Monsal. And I've put some Southern Region coaches behind those. So thank you very much, Mega Train Lover. That was your engineer's request. Hope you like seeing that. There we go. Two nice smooth locos, as you can see. And I reckon between them, they could haul a lot more than just these five odd coaches too. But no, as it is, they're running just nicely. And lastly for this section then we have one from Verdis or Viridis, I think it is, Coyote, who wanted to see Percy pushing some paper products. So a very interesting idea, again perfectly original, and uh, I'll go through and show you what he's pulling or pushing. So we have some actual paper, a pen, uh, that other wagon's full of paper clips, which you can't see, and then a Pritt stick. So there we are then folks, thank you very much for those requests and if you're still waiting for one, uh, stay tuned because there's lots more still to come. Welcome back folks, there we go, I hope you enjoyed those. So thank you so much to everybody from last episode. If you haven't seen yours yet and you know you've got one, there are more coming, so stay tuned for that. Right, what did you think then folks? What was your favourite out of that lot? Man, so much good stuff to choose from. Uh, hey, it's Percy, he says Scottish train spotter. Yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people are always pleased when I show Percy for some reason. Um, um I, says Duckman, what? <laughs> All right, say, uh, hey Sam, can you double head your H1 and C1? Yeah, now that is an idea a lot of people like. Uh, yeah, feel free to request that if you'd like to. Whammy Radio by Christian Man. the slow mode is on in the live chat. Such inconvenience. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, just make sure that the chat isn't moving so fast that I can't read it. Anyway, I like to see a French engine or two run. Ooh, good idea. I will do my best. Uh, I don't know about two, but I've, I've got at least one French engine I know about that actually works properly. So thank you so much, Christian. I can do that. Uh, Yol Gonzalez says, hello, I'm new. That is awesome. Great to see you. Shout out, please, says me on. There you go. Die LMS 8F says, hi. Die LMS 8F, blimey. What have they done wrong? Military train was my favourite, says Snow P175. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so popular, military trains, which is great. The Peckets, says Joseph. Yeah, got to love the Peckets. They are awesome. Uh, your Gonzalez, yeah, I saw you. You're new. Dan the Man says, I like your hair. Uh, yes, it's... Well, I'm, I'm not sure what it is, but it is hair, isn't it? We'll give it that. Uh, it's lockdown hair, I'll put it that way. Uh, Percy will be stopping at the stationery, says Daniel Hayton. Man, I see what you did there. And Jay, thank you so much. Will you please run your TTS Sound Class 40 hauling some prototypical coaches of your choice? That is fine, Jay. <laughs> Don't know about prototypical coaches, but I will certainly try and do some of those. Right, let's do some shout-outs from the Super Chats then, just in case I've missed anybody, because that is not a nice thing. E350TB says he wants to request the Mighty Hornby 2020 pen on a Warwell wagon hauled by the J50. I thought for one horrible second he was asking me to run the pen. I'm not sure how that would have gone. 
Uh, AZ Rail, afternoon, mm -hmm. hope you're doing well. Mm -hmm. 40th Gear Guys has ordered a back from K3. He wants me to run that, so that is fine. Shining Time 4 wants to see Henrietta. Yeah, I read those out, I think. Uh, Alco Random, thank you to you. Um, Sideways 66779 wants to see a B12 running on a nice rake of LNER Teaks, so that is lovely. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. I saw Duckman's, I think. Kelly wanted to see, oh dear. Kelly, what are you doing to me? She wants to see a 1361, a DMU, and a Rustin at the back. Kelly, are you, are you warming to diesels? Or are you hoping that the 1361 will pass on its uh, crummy disease onto the diesels? Maybe that's what... I, I, I feel like Kelly's trying to do something. She's trying to pull a fast one, pull a wool over my eyes there. That is a good-looking Rustin. Yep, I agree. Uh, okay. Fourth gear, guys. Yeah, I saw that one. Uh, oh, Mayo wants to see another rainbow goods train. Mallard with a rainbow goods train. Must include Kit Kat vans, Pepsi and Shell tankers, Prime Pork vans, and one Thomas the Tank Engine truck. And Black Toad. A Black Toad? Oh, yeah, yeah. I've got a Black Toad, yeah. Uh, I just imagined a black frog there. That would have been interesting. Uh, okay, Alco Random. Hello, last chat. We'll be in the chat. Last request. Right. Can you doublehead both Edwards? Have an awesome day, Sam. That is an idea. Give it. Give us a, a shout in the chat for Edwards. Me on. Did you read my super chat? Uh, I will be getting to them. Me, I will be getting to them. Davis Harrington wants to see Tornado in apple green with a maroon rake. That sounds pretty cool. Would love it during the series as a birthday present. Wow, happy birthday for tomorrow. Let's get some happy birthdays for Davis in the chat for tomorrow. I just saw Harry Chapman pop in. Uh, can you doublehead a Merchant Navy and a West Country pulling some Pullmans, please? Absolutely, that would be cool. Ah, I like that. I like a bit of Merchant Navy action. Rock Eat, yeah, I saw that one. Uh, yeah, oh, Christian was asking about French engines earlier on. Well, the answer is yes, that is fine. Uh, Rock, uh, Kelly, you are correct. Rocket was almost as fast as Sonic the Hedgehog. Not quite, though. I don't think anything on Earth is faster than Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh, I think we're almost through. Uh, just getting back. Yeah, Michael, I saw that. Squiddy. Uh, yes, I read that one, I think. Uh, was my Fairburn request from three? I will check Sharky, but yeah, if you if you sent in your five pounds, I went through with a fine tooth comb and did it. If anyone can remember, let me know. Uh, if not, I will check. But yeah, they should have all been done. I do almost, I always triple check, in fact, that I've got everyone in. So assuming, uh, although unless you're an engineer, I spread the engineer's requests across the series. So there are still some to do for next time. That could be it. Anyway, can you run two pocket rockets with the Ocean of Ocean Wagons, says Alco Random. That is pretty cool. Dan Salter, the 57XX in the middle of an auto coach sandwich. I think I read that one, didn't I? Uh, but Steam Traction Spotter. Yep. Yeah, I saw Roberts. Uh, William Town. Yep, yeah, I think we are about there. What about my request? I'll scream if I don't get it. Gur, says Kerry. Uh, the Kelly, even. No, I did read it. I did. I promise. Right, okay. Nice. Sorry, repeating from. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. Right. Okay. So let's do this little unboxing now. This came from my friend uh, Peter, who was actually very naughty, and he sent me quite a bit of stuff, and I, I wanted to pay him for it, and he wouldn't let me. Uh, although he did let me send a donation to the Salvation Army for some of the stuff he sent, so I feel a bit better about it. Anyway. He says there's some cool stuff in here. I think it's posters, but I, I, I like posters. I like having things on the wall. Don't know if you can tell that. Uh, it's probably not obvious. Oh, it is posters, I think. Right, let's see. Oh, there we go. That was whammy. That's all right. Okay. So I've not actually looked at these. If they are naked women, I apologize. Well, maybe that's nice, but not for, not for kids, I guess. Whoa, look at this. I won't pretend to know what loco that is. But that is quite something, isn't it? It looks like a shark. I have seen those before, actually. Wow. Now, that is awesome. Let's see what else we have in here. Are they all American train posters? Right. Here's one. Oh. This is fun. Ooh. Oh, I think it's the same thing. But it's a long one. Whoa. Right. In the chat, if you know what that thing is... Uh, let me know, because this is awesome, and I'm starting to want one in model form, which is a bad thing, because it cost a fortune, you can just tell, can't you? Wow. And another thing, I'm pretty sure something that big wouldn't actually work on my railway, <laughs> with all its tight curves and stuff, but it would be amazing if it did. Let's see. Pennsylvania T1, T1 class, Adam's saying that. Sharky's, all right, it, I, guess, I guess that's the answer. That's pretty irrefutable. Let's do one more then, because I have a lot to get through today. 
let's do more than one more. Whoa, look at this. I sort of recognize that. That's one of the old timey 440s. It says, notice the child on the smoke box. Date and location unknown. Oh my gosh, yeah. There is a child on the smoke box. Oh, this is going to be hard to get in shot because it's all bendy. Look at that. Wow. Health and safety. Yeah, you can probably tell this isn't the, the sort of modernist of photos. Otherwise, I think there would be like a, a massive child safety campaign or something. That is awesome. Wow, Peter, these are amazing. Thank you so much. Right, last one. Oh, two came out. I guess I guess that's good. That's good. We get to look at two now. Oh gosh, blimey! Now, if anyone knows what wreck this is, you'll have to let me know. But that looks terrible. What happened there? Did it crash? In, it like mounted another engine <laughs> and destroyed it entirely. It must have gone into the back of it. But if the other engine had a tender, I don't know where it is. Has it been crushed entirely? That is bonkers. What a crazy accident. Now that one's going on the wall. Uh, ideally, I'd like them all to go on the wall if I can find a space. All right, and this looks like some kind of, I don't know, artillery, cannon? Looks like a cannon, it can't be, can it? It's a cannon or a cement mixer. There we go. <laughs> Anyone recognize what that is? Let me know in the old chat. We'll see. Right, so, and you'll see some of the other stuff that Pete sent as well, so. Yeah, Pete, thank you so much. Uh, it's naughty. Please don't anyone else ask to send me stuff because, uh, yeah, I prefer not to. I prefer to source stuff myself just because it's better. I think it's good business rather than letting people send you stuff for free. But, yeah, that was very, very kind. They are awesome. Thank you so much. Dale Kate, soft drink of your choice. Oh, Dale, cheers. Thank you. I, actually, I need that. My, my choice will be water, but I don't know where it is. Can anybody... Uh, it's, it's, on, it's right next to my feet, literally. Right. A mortar, okay. Alex Tataro says mortar. Day. All right, so it's a mortar. All right, a Civil War mortar, in fact. Yeah, it looked, it looked kind of that era, didn't it? That is awesome. Is it a hand car? Yeah, I thought to start with it looked like a hand car, Toby. But yeah, it's definitely something that goes boom and fires something. That's my that's my knowledge of war-related things for you. Anyway, let's move on to the next lot of requests then. Man, how do I explain? Now, Kelly, if you're watching this, the loco on the outside line was not my idea, okay? I, I have a feeling that this might have been done to annoy you, but not by me, so please direct your angry comments elsewhere. So, it was TagArt00 who wanted to see Broom Manor with the wrong tender. He wanted the completely wrong tender, so that's why, don't blame me, uh, with any wagons. So we've got wagons on there. William Babcock wanted to see the B12 plus the wool winder uh, with the, 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 the Pullmans. So that's what we've got on the middle line there. And then it was Lee Tong 16 who wanted to see the 9F with ocean wagons and mega boxes with a 280 helper. I thought he chose the 8F, but my 8F doesn't work anyway on DC because it's DCC fitted. And normally it's okay, but double heading with another loco would probably upset it. So I've gone with the ROD 280 from the Great Western or the War Department, or, or the R ROD rather. Okay, so there we go, Broom Manor. Uh, you get 30 points, that's very generous. And these points, by the way, are never added up or recognized in any way. But if you can guess which loco that tender has been stolen from, you do get 30 points, and I'll acknowledge it on chat, but that's all, <laughs> if you can guess correctly. So I will be looking at the chat. Another thing to look out for is the AE1 slash 3 slash B12 combo, because the B12 bogey uh, tends to derail if it's got another loco coupled to it. So, you know, that's going to be a good time. So that's, well, that's what I'm going to be following. But let's see how we get on with this. I hope you like the two packets in the siding. I thought I'd just decorate the siding slightly uh, for the stream. Not at all because I just couldn't be bothered to put them back away again. No, that's, that's absurd. That's not the reason. Simple as that. I like the freight train there. It's going nice and slow, isn't it? That looks pretty cool. And here we have, you'll get a good look at this uh, tender if you're trying to gain the 30 points that are so desperately coveted. Takuma Sensei, the first train sport, train, train poster, <laughs> train sporter, what did I read that? It was the class T1, class 4444, 54, 54, 52 of them. 
1942 to 1946, and they made nearly 6,000 horsepower, but they had problems. Oh, okay. Well, wow. Thank you very much for the super chat there and for the information. That is fantastic. Well, I wonder what problems they had then. That doesn't sound good. They look unconventional, don't they? I mean, maybe that's partly why they had issues. They were pretty un unconventional. 9F Tender, I am rubbish, says SLD51. Why are you rubbish, SLD51? Saint Class Tender, says James Keir. Nope, not Saint Class. I realise we probably haven't had a good look. See if we can get a good look. It's a mortar from World War One. Okay, yep, did say that. How's O Gage Sam? Love the look of the Hatton's Warwell wagon, says Mark7188. Yeah, the, the Hatton's Warwell was absolutely incredible. I loved it. And it's going well, thanks. Yeah, I love, I can honestly say, hand on heart, that I love O Gage. It is fantastic. Yep, she's screaming. <laughs> can you please give me a shout out, says Richford uh, Franey. Sure, no problem. B1, says ha Helen Apps. You know, I think that's right. It is from the Backman B1, which has the same loco to tender coupling, so that was the clue, I guess. Yeah, it had to be a Backman tender. It's Tornado's tender, says Mark Leatherland. That's a good guess. It kind of, well, it's LNER, so you, I can see where you're going with that. But that's, uh, that's cool. That's fine. Uh, what is this for, a train turntable? You mean that? Yeah, that is the Hornby turntable. It's not very good. A lot of people say, I'm getting the Hornby turntable. And I would say, really? Are you, are you sure? It's, it's not brilliant, you know? I don't know. Maybe, maybe others are better than mine, but mine sucks. <laughs> it took a lot of work to get the darn thing to go. It wasn't very good. H-O-R-O -O says Snow P175. That is very difficult to say. I will always love H-O slash double O because there's so much available. Um, if you wanted to get a collection the size of mine in O gauge, um, yeah, you probably wouldn't unless you're a rock star or something or with an insane amount of money. But even then you'd need a, a warehouse to store it all in, wouldn't you? So yeah, I mean, I think O gauge is probably more impressive, isn't it? But I think for its size and price, it gets the right balance, does O gauge, sorry, does double O gauge and HO scale. So yeah, I think that's probably what I would say, but I love both. If, you, if I had to say which one I actually like the best, I would have a much more difficult time. Hard to say, very hard to say. Right, last train coming in with the 9F. So thank you guys for those requests, they were awesome. Loads more still to come, so if you've made one and you haven't seen it yet, don't despair, they will be coming. And if I can't get them done today, they'll still get done. They'll just get done next time. So nobody gets missed out unless I miss you somehow. But like I say, I do double and triple check. So it's very unlikely. All right, nice. Did you like those? What do you think to that? We also have George Warren. Hope you're doing well today. Oh, thank you, George. I hope you're doing well. I hope everyone's doing well uh, during the lockdown and such, even though it's not really lockdown anymore, I guess. How about a rocket race, says Harry Chapman. Now, that is a cool idea, yeah. A lot of people suggesting that it would be cool, although it's fairly obvious which one would win, I think, unless I sabotage the trying one in some way. Either way, let's go for another little break then. I will set up some more requests when we go. You guys can get yourself some refreshments or something. Don't go anywhere, because when I come back, I've got another special guest to show to you. Uh, I think you'll like him, he says with a slightly manic grin. And also many more requests to show and the Wall of Fame to do as well. So don't go anywhere. I'll be back very, very shortly. See you in a minute. Welcome back, folks. Welcome, welcome back. If you've only just joined, here's a little bit of a recap. We've done El Cheapo, another episode of El Cheapo. Loads and loads of requests. I've done three unboxings, although well, two of them were pretty naff. One of them made up for it, though, so check back and see what those were. I want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to everyone who has super chatted so far. Stay tuned if you have, and I will read out all of the names at the end. But you were all in entered... I nearly said you're all interested in, I guess you are, but you're all entered for these. Uh, they'll be giving away uh, next episode, so you've still got time to get in. Uh, yeah, everybody who supports with a super chat is going to be in with a chance of getting these on episode five. And I'll add every super chatter from every episode, so you've got a chance to get in uh, every time. So yeah, looking forward. To, I don't know why I keep swapping them over. <laughs> it's a bit insane, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing where these actually end up, which is fantastic. Right, what have we got to do next then? Well, let's do some shout out because I don't want to miss anybody else. Wow, there's quite a few more super chats coming in. Wow, Terence Priestley, thank you very much to you. Uh, CFCYA Boy06 Gaming, you made me look there, didn't you? 
Uh, hi Sam, can I get a shout out please? I love your vids. Oh, of course you can. Big shout out to you and thank you very, very much for the support. That's very kind of you. All ah, right, wow, says Mad Edward too. I don't know what he's wowing at. That's good though. I'm glad whatever you saw impressed you. <laughs> I can't think of much. TR9 Gaming, can I have a shout out please? In capital letters. Yeah, sure you can, no problem. Mark Leatherland, it says, hello, I'm Noah, I'm seven. Okay, very nice. That is awesome. What a good age to be. I think a lot of people wish they were still seven. Anyway, let's not get sad. Not happy, Sam, says Lee Tong 16. What's wrong, Lee? Uh, can I have a shout out, please, says Sam Haslam. Yes, of course you can. No problem. Uh, YouTube must be treating you well to get O-Gage. Well, that's true, Yoda, but I'm, I don't have very much O-Gage, that's for sure. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get a huge collection of it. But yeah, I mean, what I have been able to afford uh, has been amazing. I've really, really enjoyed it. It's been brill. Uh, Southern Train Goil, yep, you can have a shout out, no problem. Uh, Owen Davies, hello to you, hope you're okay. Malachi Wilkinson, there you go. Hayden Warape, I think that is. Your name just moved uh, as, as I was reading your name out. I'm not just incompetent or anything, no, 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 no. Global Warming, okay. Ahmad Akran, well thank you for bringing that to our attention. It does, it does deserve it, I think. Uh, Harrison the Train Lover, there's a shout out for you. Happy day, same. <laughs> yes, it is a happy day, that's for sure. And Josh Productions 07, yeah, sure, you can have a hout out. A hout out, wow, I am messing this up today. Right, let's do some more requests then. I have them set up. Speaking of Rocket, a lot of people are asking to see that, so we've got that there. That is the new Hornbeat Rocket, uh, so that's not the one that raced around, so it isn't going to be racing around this time. Sparky129 uh, Games also wanted to see the Garrett with some coaches and a J70 banker, so you can't see it right now, but we do have Toby's real-life loco at the back of the middle train. Uh, no problem, CFC, no problem for the shout-out. Oh, is that why he was on about global warming, because of CFCs and that? Uh, that's interesting. William Town, I'm annoyed that the War and Peace revival at Paddock Wood has been cancelled this year. Uh, that is a shame, William. I'm sorry to hear that. It's a, it's a great shame that so many things have been cancelled. But we have to make the best of these things, I guess, don't we? And then we have E350TB's pen on the war well with the J50. <laughs> Oh, blimey. Well, that is what that is then, isn't it? And who was that? Is that? I'm guessing that's the one I just read out. Yeah, that was William Town. And thank you again, William, for your very kind support. Right. Let's give these a try then. Is the Garrett going to work all right with the J70? That is my question. Right, let's get Rocket going. There we go. That's 50% speed for comparison. <laughs> There we go, there is the banking train and the pen. Will the pen stay on the wall well? That is the question. It usually carries a tank, but today it has a cargo far more precious than that. So let's just take off our hats to those if you've got one on. If not, go and find a hat and then take it off again just to show your support. Hello. There we go, rocket looking good. And the Garrett train just missed the back end there with, <laughs> with old Toby. I, I've got into a bad habit there of calling that Toby every time. I mustn't, it is a J70. <laughs> Not to worry. There we go, rocket running well. Such a good run of that rocket, it's crazy. Uh, Harry Chapman, what's the best way to contact me? Uh, that would be via email, it is in the description. I'm very far behind on email, but if it's urgent, uh, just let me know and I will, I'll try and look. And CFC again, thank you so much, that is a very good of you. Okay, let's see if we can catch up with the J50 and the pen, shall we? Here he comes. Is the pen still on the wagon? It is, look at that. There we go, that's all right. So yeah, I mean, safe transport for pens as well. I mean, if I had more time, I might be able to sort of tangle the pen in the chains that are on the wagon. Maybe that would be a good way to keep it on, but we'll see. <laughs> if I've got more time and if there's a, a big demand for having pens on war wells, which I don't think there will be, I might think of that. Right, Sabre Dareth, thank you so much. Hope your stream is going well. I've been installing DCC sound in some locos, including some brass locomotives. Wow, what a project. Been fun, I look at your streams all the time while I work at Train World on lunch. That is awesome. Wow, and you work at Train World as well. Sabadara, thank you so much. That is epic. Sam, what happened to your other remotes? What remotes? Uh, controllers? I don't know. Uh, I might just be uh, malfunctioning there. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, the T1 was a bad design. Also, some men just wanted to watch the chat burn, and I'm one of them. <laughs> okay, fair enough. No problem. Uh, bad design. Oh dear, that is a shame. Mind you, in model railways there's a few of those, so I guess it stands to reason that there are some in real life too, that's fair enough. 
And there we go, Alco, you got your little pop up there. Right, awesome. Well, thank you guys for those requests. That was awesome. And a special thank you to Sparky for all of yours. Sparky, I haven't done all four of yours today, but I will. The other two will be in the next stream. I do. You have my word. Uh, if you want, you can email me to remind me because it will be sort of, they're, they're nestled with the requests I've already done. But hopefully I won't miss them. But you know what I'm like. Remind me if you want. But that's fine. And I'm thinking after the last stream, I will sort of finish off any requests that I've not done in like a video. Uh, so if you want to be in an actual video, that would be even better. You can send them in, start queuing them up for that. Uh, otherwise, you'd have to wait for like the, the Christmas uh, season or the, the Christmas series rather. And that's rather a long while to make people wait. So I didn't really fancy doing that. Controllers, the black ones, Alco Random. Ah, yeah, the HM2000s. Well, I'm actually running my O-Gage set with those. Uh, so that's where those are. Still got them. I didn't get rid of them or anything like that. So that is pretty cool. All right, what did you think then? All right, with those, everybody likes seeing the Garrett run. I don't, I mean, the Garrett runs in a lot of my streams these days. It's a very, very popular loco. I have to clean its wheels often as well, because the more running it does, the filthier they get. There you go, Alco. You got yours in there. Oh, damn it, says Devious Diesel. Oh, dear. Review the Mallard in BR Blue Hornby, says Joseph. I have um, BR Blue. Yeah, I have. I have. Yep, yeah, it's uh, Golden Eagle. Look it up if you like. It's a really lovely loco. Absolutely fantastic. What was that noise? Well, it sounded, sounded a little bit like a clock, didn't it? That? Hmm. I wonder what time it could be. Train time! Hello and welcome to Train Time. I am your host, Special George. And in this show, I'm going to be choosing trains from real life and I'm going to be talking about them. Now this is an idea that has taken many, many months to come up with and perfect and I'm sure you're all going to be quite blown away by it. So with that warning in place, today's train of choice is going to be the Flying Scotsman. Now the first interesting thing to note is that there is a difference between Flying Scotsman and the Flying Scotsman. Flying Scotsman, we all know about that, it was the locomotive, the 1923 built Gresley Pacific, very very famous locomotive indeed. The Flying Scotsman is something different, the Flying Scotsman is the service from London to Edinburgh or Edinburgh to London if you want to mix things up a little bit. That service actually began way back in 1862, which is some 60 years before Flying Scotsman the locomotive would be built. It used the East Coast Main Line, which was built during the 1800s. It was built in small sections by multiple different railway companies, and then it was merged together to produce the whole route, of course. It was the GNR that produced, well, that ran the very first Flying Scotsman service in 19 or 1862, departing from both London and Edinburgh at the same time, at 10 o'clock in the morning, I believe, so there were two services. The first journey took 10 and a half hours with a stop, and a good comparison there is the later journeys with Gresley's Pacifics, which took just eight hours non-stop, quite impressive. Some locomotives then that the Flying Scotsman used in its many, many years in service, the Sterling Single is one of them, that's my Sterling Single, not Emily, it's not Emily, it's very, very, very different to Emily. Um, the C1 Atlantic, another very, very classic Great Northern design, beautiful locomotive. Now we know that Gresley's A1 and A3s uh, did the Flying Scotsman, but did you know that A4s also ran the Flying Scotsman for a time? Yes, it's very true. And later on there were diesels and electrics which would take the service as well, which is very interesting. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed learning about the Flying Scotsman there. I'm going to do one question per train time episode, and today's question is this. It is, in 1862 when the Flying Scotsman began, it wasn't actually called the Flying Scotsman, the service wasn't actually called the, sign, uh, the Flying Scotsman. What was it called? That's my question. And the other thing is, during train time, I'm, I'm hoping to get you guys to actually decide the trains I talk about, so please let me know in the comments of this video or stream which would you like me to do next? Any ideas, do let me know. For now though, that has been train time. I've been your host, Special George, and I hope you enjoyed that. Many thanks. Thank you kindly. Well, 
Well, that was that then, wasn't it? Are you alright then? Did you like that? Any ideas for train time? You like the new series? I don't know. I thought I felt I'd got to do something a little bit different, and I just felt like a new theme tune and a new series is just what these streams needed. So I hope you like that. This is very bad, says Morgan St. James. Oh dear, that seems a little bit... Oh, the special Scotch Express is MDH Games. I'll ha you'll have to email me that one. I'll have to do some research and find out if it's uh, something I could do. Yeah, a lot... Oh, 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 it's the answer to the question. I thought it seemed familiar because Luke's Locos has put it in as well. James Carruthers is correct. <laughs> Skitland, says Adam Rushton. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we got it. Anyway, yeah, if you've got any recommendations and what I should do for the next Train Time episode, do let me have them via comment or email. I don't put them in the chat, though, because I'll just get lost to time. But, yeah, comments, I will definitely see them. How special is George, says Elm Tree Line? As special as can be, I think is the idea, is the answer there. Uh, Arcady says, shout out. There you go, no problem. Fox Hill Railway Train Time. Love train time. Good, good, good. I thought I thought people would. I just thought it adds a bit of class to an otherwise uh, slightly unclassy series of streams, doesn't it? Anyway, there we go. Well, I'm glad that went down well. Let's get on with some more requests then, which I've scrambled to put together. The only thing I still need to do is mix goods behind the J15 and the J70, which should be okay. So let's do some of that. I've got some goods out already. And I also apologise to... Uh, I think it was Shining Time 4, uh, because you wanted four planks, uh, I couldn't find, well, I mean, I could, but I was in such a rush, I don't know if I've actually got four planks uh, on the train that you requested, they may be five plank, uh, or maybe even six, I don't know, but I hope it doesn't make too much of a difference, <laughs> if it does, I apologise very sincerely. Okay, so there we go, we've got mixed goods, let's go, let's go with a bit more of a mixture, shall we, let's put a... Uh, Let's say an open wagon at the back there to push these forwards. And another van, and I think also an LVR brake van is required. So I will just go and get one of those. Where are we? What brake van do you think would be nice? Uh, shall we go with, shall we go with the Toad B? People like Toads, right? Yeah, let's go with the, the Toad B. That's a pretty classic LVR brake van. And then I'll, I'll explain what we've got on the other lines here. So, first things first, we have the K3 on the outer line. That is for fourth gear guys who say they've just bought a Backman K3 and would like to see me run mine. So, awesome, fourth gear guys. Thank you for your support and I hope you enjoy your K3. That's awesome. Shining Time 4 wanted to see the J70, that's that, with Henrietta, a four plank wagon, a van, a four plank wagon, and an any van, a brake van, a no, uh, LNER brake van basically. Then William Babcock wanted to see the J15 and the J50 double heading, which I've done with mixed goods and an LNER brake. So let's get these started. Here we go, Backman K3, with its, well, slightly dodgy motor, I guess. Uh, we've got all the trains going in the same direction this time. I'm not sure how that happened, although I guess if I do it at random, it will happen from time to time. Right, let's see, I did just miss a, a super chat, I believe, which I don't like to do. Uh, it was E350TB, I'm going to have to head out, but thank you for the stream, that is no problem, and thank you so much for your support on the stream, that is crazy. Thank you E350, that is very kind of you. There we go, look at these. For a brief glimpse there, we had all engines in the shot at Woodens, which is pretty good that, that's not bad. There we are. It's like a race, isn't it, who's going to win first? Funnily enough, the outer line is drawing ahead, which you wouldn't expect because it's having to go further on all of the curves. But no, nope, fair enough. I'm not going to complain about that. The, I did, I suppose, turn the K3 up a little bit, and the other engines are supposed to be quite slow, aren't they? So in real life, I suppose it would be the K3, wouldn't it, that would jump out in the lead? Well, that's all right. There we are. What do you think of those then? Let's have a look at the chat. I feel like I'm doing quite well with the chat today. I'm giving it a lot more time than usual, which is good, which is good. Let's see. A lot of people saying bye to E350 is obviously sorely missed. Devious Diesel or someone keep an eye on Devious Diesel in the chat. Make a shunt to pull 20 trucks. Now that sounds, is that supposed to be cruel perhaps? Is that too many trucks for a shunt to have to haul? I don't know. Uh, you have your water tower back, says James Carruthers. No, I hot glued it onto my layout and I decided that I, I wouldn't send it back, which is naughty, and I did at the time recommend that everybody does. Um, but I was running mine on DC, and let's be honest, if it exploded, 
it would make for a funny video, wouldn't it? And I don't mind. I mean, things explode in this loft. That's just the way. That's just the way things go. So, yeah, I just thought, why not? Why not? What's another explosion between friends? Eh? Eh, Dapple? Eh? 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 Well, maybe they don't watch these streams. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Anyway, do you already have a third class open coach for the Hornby Rocket? Ooh. Not a Hornby one, though. And Devious Diesel, yes, you are pretty devious. That is certainly true. Takuma Sensei, the PRR, is that the Prussian Railroad, T1? I don't know. Uh, or it could be Pennsylvania. Yeah, there is a, is there a PRR which stands for Prussian? I don't know, probably not. It wouldn't be recent anyway. Uh, but they are likely slipping at starts and ruining the track's curves. Okay, because they're so huge with such small wheel sets. All right, I guess that would be, that's sensible, isn't it? Devious Diesel, that's never going to work, says Kelly. Yeah, that's right. We need some people speaking up for Steam Locos, that's for sure. Mark 7188, that's true. I haven't done restorations for a while. I'll have to do some more soon. That is a good point. Uh, I do have some more to do. Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I was a bit silly and I picked all the fun ones to do straight away. So we've got a lot of the old tap to do. But yeah, maybe, maybe I'll do some more one day. It would be nice, wouldn't it? And they, they need doing because they're, they're not doing anybody any good just sitting in the loft rotting away. But yeah, on a rainy day, and there has been a lot of rain actually over this weekend, which is not relevant, but there it is. Yeah, on a rainy day, they will make good projects, I think, which is pretty nice. Right, we're just waiting, waiting for the EJ70. There we go. Did anyone hear from, I forget now who it was, was it? William or, hang on, let me go and see. Wasn't too cross about my incorrect wagons, I hope. It was, yeah, it was Shining Time 4. There we go. <laughs> Sorry for calling you William. I suppose you've been called worse things. Most people have. Right, there we are. And I do love the two uh, LNERs, double heading, by the way. 060s, fantastic. Don't know why I put the J50 in front. I suppose the J15 would have made more sense, but that's all right. Cool. So thank you for those great requests. That is awesome. Let's get on then and do some Wall of Fame goodies. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who has sent in a picture to the Wall of Fame. I love looking at these. So the first one we have is one from William B, a loco that I absolutely love. Let me show you this. It looks like the Oxford N7 to me, but not in a livery that I have. That is in the LNER. And doesn't it look good? Doesn't it look smart in the LNER? I mean, seeing it in black like that, you'd expect it to look a bit like the N... Uh, oh, it's... The N2, I'm getting the N2 and the N7 mixed up. You'd expect it to look like the Hornby uh, N2, wouldn't you? But no, it doesn't. It looks very, very different in style. Yeah, that was confusing. I got really confused between the Oxford N7 and the Hornby N2. Could be the opposite way around, I've forgotten. Right, this is a cool one from Steve, who wanted to show me how good a Lima Deltic could look. And as you can see, that is actually pretty good. Look at that. Uh, I assume that isn't how they came from Lima. I think he will have um, sort of souped it up a little bit. And Bruce, welcome, welcome to the engineers and Takuma Sensei Pennsylvania Railroad. Yeah, I, I did realize how stupid I'd been calling it the Prussian Railroad there for a second, particularly because people had already said it was Pennsylvania. There you go, you got Takuma again, there you go. Yes, apologize uh, for that, I do. Tease Cottage Guy, here's the next one. Look at this, this is a nice photo. You got an A4 on camera there. Anybody recognize which one it is? That's the next quiz question. Only five points, because the name is kind of visible there. 6009, if you want to quickly Google it and cheat. I don't know, but T, that is a beautiful photo. Look at all the uh, steam there coming out front. Amazing, what a great catch that was. And I hope you had a, a good time, wherever that was. I don't know if it was recent or not. All right, CJ sent in this. This looks like his layout to me. Oops, almost dropped it. Look at that, that's coming along nicely. Uh, Defty, 1982 it says, by CJ. So look at that, that looks really good, doesn't it, that? I like the uh, sort of setting as well. It looks very old worldy, doesn't it? Leaves King Cross, it says. At 10 a.m. every Wednesday, ah, so he's got uh, sort of old-timey posters up as well. I will soon as well, too. Uh, I've got some cool posters to put up. Right, a Cade P, this one, this one intrigued me quite a bit. So we've got a, oops, sorry, horse. Let's, but that's it. If one goes down, they all have to go down. I treat animals fairly. Cade, look at this. That is the best way to add lamps to the Hornby Thomas. Uh, that is a common criticism of the Hornby and indeed Backman Thomas. No working lamps. Well, with some subtle wiring, which no one will look, no one will notice, uh, unless they're really looking, because it just blends in with the lining. You just wouldn't know it was there. 
uh, yeah, you can get working lamps, a few elastic bands to hold it in place. To be honest, it looks like one of Sam's trains projects, doesn't it? Uh, it's got my sort of level of finesse, which I very much like. So, Cade, well done. You've got another Sam in the making, I think. Here we have Bobble Bunny for people asking uh, why his channel is Bobble Bunny. Here is the Bobble Bunny, I believe. And as you can see, it is a bobble with ears and eyes, making it a Bobble Bunny. And I guess we've also got um, a little comparison there between the two Smoky Joes. And I was going to say O-Gage, but that's bigger than O-Gage, isn't it? It looks like G-Scale at least. You might have told me, but I've forgotten. A uh, Santa Fe caboose of some description, which looks awesome. So thank you for that, Bobble, and thank you for all you do for the channel. You're a big help, a uh, big support, rather. All right, Joe sent in this one. Thank you so much, Joe. I know you keep in touch with the channel as well, you and your mum, so thank you so much for that. Yeah, apparently Joe got some new wagons, and this was him keeping a, a close look at them. Uh, as they went around the layout so that is awesome and great layout as well joe i love seeing that so we'll get that on the wall of fame for you as soon as possible this one is from ford raptor who went to see rocket uh, i don't know if this is it at the science museum uh, it doesn't look like the old ex exhibit uh, exhibition or whatever at the science museum uh, so maybe this is it at its new home but as you can see it looks very different to the hornby model doesn't it makes you wonder if they'll uh sort of make a version of this but of course it's totally different to the yellow rocket that they have produced uh, Hornby that is um, so yeah yeah probably not but it would be interesting wouldn't it let's hope we do see some more era one locos that'd be amazing and then Danji this is the last one for today sent in this one looks like a Hornby Dublo or it could be a Wren I guess uh, other, yeah it's three rail look you can just about see the the pickup shoes on the middle line there so yeah that's probably hornby dublo then one of the oldest hornby locos very nice uh, at least in dublo that's that's probably worth pointing out so thank you for those folks that was awesome uh, we have sharky mcshock knows can i request an lbsc rh1 pulling as many great western cholesteries antiques as it can wow that's a that's a good question actually i wonder how many it can pull We'll have to get some sort of uh, estimates for that and see what people think and then try it next stream and we'll see how that goes. Thank you so much, Sharky. I want Backman to release it in Graham Farish Engage. It's a beauty. Wouldn't that be something? I wonder how that would work in Engage. Um, yeah, they seem to like sort of bigger locos with bigger wheel sets in Engage because I suppose they stand more of a chance of hauling a decent train, but that would be awesome to see. All right, let's do some more requests then. I still have lots left over from last episode, so here they are now. If you're still waiting for one from last week, it's probably coming up right now. All right, so first of all, we've got quite a lot of brake vans involved. Red Vesby wanted to see the J70, Ooh, which is just live on camera uncoupled that's the third or fourth time it's done that now getting rather annoyed with that probably coupled a bit <laughs> a bit more heavily than i should have done um no let's let's look into this there we go all better nearly went for the hammer but didn't quite but no red visby sorry about that uh, great request i guess you're suggesting that the j70 looks like a brake van and who am i to disagree yeah they do look pretty similar but there we go from any sort of distance, it just looks like a big train of brake vans. So thank you, Red Vers B. Rowan Marchbank wanted to see both of my peckets, and they are going nice and slow for a reason. He wanted to see them haul both of my cranes. And as you can tell, those cranes are pretty darn big compared with the peckets. So I am being careful, and they do like to derail. And also, five brake vans. I'm not kidding. People do love brake vans today. <laughs> so there we are. Yep, yeah, you can count them. They're all there. One, two, three, four, five. I break bands. So yes, a very, very cool request indeed. Thank you very much for that, Rowan. Love it. And I was about to say, would you look at that? We've managed to run the cranes without a derailment. Just as that thought was forming in my head, I heard rattling. And yes, it looks like the some sort of, I think it's that truck there on the red crane, has in fact derailed. So there we go. <laughs> if choosing the cranes you were intending things to derail Rowan, I guess you got your wish. Although I think, I think that point might have just reset it. Good, oh, I might have gotten away with that then, very good. What's gone wrong? Ah, one just cut out on the point, all right. Anyway, so the next one is from Mark7188, who wanted to see twins, which twins? These twins, Donald and Douglas, with a freight train and a special guest on the back. And I'm sure you can imagine who that might be. <laughs> yeah, it's not a surprise anymore, is it? There we go. Yep, Borman. So there we are, Mark. Thank you very much. Nice request as always. 
We are. Been a little while since Donald and Douglas have run together. A lot of people have been splitting them apart in the requests. It's an interesting theme, isn't it? Let's see if we can get some more requests where I split apart locos or wagons that tend to run together. I can hear that crane off again. Always the same. <laughs> there we go, a last look at the brake vans too. So next up we have a very cool one from Dancing Turtle 96 who wanted to see two A4s running HST style with teaks, <laughs> which is very cool. So thank you Dancing Turtle 96, love it. I do sometimes get asked to do things like this, but I'm not sure if I've ever done it with A4s before, so that's cool. Next up then we have Transportation Guy, thank you so much, you wanted to see the Black 5 with some maroon coaches, so I've put some LMS coaches behind there, yeah, looks fantastic. Transportation Guy, thank you so much to you. And this is just a railroad Black 5, but it really has presence on the line, doesn't it? Very much so. There you go. Okay, next up then, I just want to tell you about this one. It's something Great Western, so we've got Pitchford Hall, that was the request. Uh, basically, this is for a chap called Ray Alt, uh, requested by Chris Thorpe Junction. Apparently, Ray helped build Evening Star, and he's not very well at the moment, unfortunately, which is not nice to hear. So, if Ray's watching, and it would be an honour to have an old uh, railwayman or train builder watching the channel, uh, I hope you feel much better soon, Ray, and here for you is something Great Western. So, we have... Hall class, lovely pitch but hall, and I've gone with the Great Western liveried version because, uh, yep, yeah, did choose something Great Western. Uh, some open wagons, and then we've got an X, well, I think it is an X Great Western actually, uh, tow brake van at the back. So there we go. And Chris Thorpe Junction, thank you very much to you for requesting that. It's a very, very nice idea. They are sublime loco, that one. Again, only a railroad one, but fantastic runners. There we are, lovely. All right, so this next one's from William Sutar. I think he meant I should run the two standard fours, the Backman and the Hornby double heading, with freight. And that was a click, and I don't know what it was. It should be all right. Uh, yeah, they're not perfectly matched in terms of speed, but hopefully they won't derail. And as you can see, I've got some freight on there. So, William, thank you so much for your continued support. I truly do appreciate that. Mm, and they look really impressive, don't they, going? It's a bit of a slower speed, actually. Uh, I really did do it just so that they wouldn't derail, but no, they look quite cool like that. Maybe they've got some dangerous cargo or something. You can see we've got some detract locos over there. I've just taken those out of the cabinet for a second while I get all the locos that I need for the next few requests. There we are. Right, we'll leave those running. Hopefully they won't derail on their next lap. Fingers crossed, anyway. <laughs> okay, mind your ears, folks. I'm about to start the Triang loco, or a Triang loco, for David Smith, who wanted to see Turbomotive with a travelling post office. And so I have some of those post office coaches on the back. So David, thank you so much to you. One amazing thing that did just happen uh, on the when I set this up, the back coach came uncoupled. Let's see if it happens again. And then it rolled down Gordon's Hill after the train and recoupled at the bottom. And it didn't happen that time, <laughs> but yeah, it was quite, oh, it has come off, but too late. Yeah, unfortunately I don't run the post office carriages very often because the levers dangle down and they sort of derail on curves and stuff, but never mind. And then next up we have an awesome request from Trainline 5000, an another slow and steady one, or in fact another completely stopped one. <laughs> Are we just too slow or what? Oh. It is a bit of a troublesome double header this. Uh, it is the V-Train Class 37 or the V-Trains Class 37. I uh, don't know what's gone wrong with those. Uh, yeah, I mean, individually, they're incredibly powerful, but together, they're just insane. Hopefully that's all right. And intercity coaches was the chosen load. So I might just speed them up a little bit, just in case it was that. There we are. <laughs> and hopefully they'll do us a few laps, fingers crossed. I never did learn what happened to V-Trains in the end. I don't think they make models anymore, but... 
It's a shame because those were very, very good. Not perfect, I don't know why they had to put traction tyres on, but yeah, besides that, very good. So, Trainline 5000, a huge thanks to you and also a massive thank you to everybody who has supported the channel by sending in a request. I appreciate it, folks, and you do an awful lot to keep me going and my channel going too. So, thank you all. All right, so plenty of disasters that time. So I know there are some people out there that enjoy seeing this stuff go wrong and derail. So if you're one of those people, I guess you'll be pretty pleased at this point. Uh, Kelly says, did you have to run those stinky diesels? Uh, yes, Kelly, yes, I did, yes. I was asked to run them and somebody was very kind and sent me a super chat. And so, yes, I did have to run them. I did get some more super chats during the uh, requests. So let's have a look at some of these. The brake van's doing their job, says Takuma Sensei. That's true, they were. Uh, you want to see some American lo locomotives pull American freight? All right, I can do that. If that's a request, Ashton, I can certainly try that. The fourth gear guy says, are you looking into Hatton's Project Genesis? Yes, I certainly am. All those era two slash three, four and six wheel coaches look amazing. They do look amazing. I just can't wait until they've got some more to show. Um, you know, hopefully they'll get the, uh, the CADs and that done and the tooling finished and we can start looking at some samples. Um, that would be amazing. Fingers crossed we'll get some of those soon. And uh, yeah, that is it. I think the next one was Kelly, so that is fine. All right, shall we get on? Oh, can you explode your windmill, says Alco Random. That wouldn't be nice. Although, fun fact, it does break down periodically. It's had about four new gearboxes in its lifetime. It used to beat because I used to knock it over when I went through into the back cupboard over there, and it used to fall down and try and work, but couldn't because it was on the ground. And the motor burnt out once or twice like that. Um, after that, it, it, it now lasts two or three years. Uh, bear in mind, it sort of runs every single day while I'm filming. Two or three years, and it'll, it'll need a new one. Uh, I replaced it a couple of months ago. It's already getting a bit noisy, but uh, yes. So it has exploded, never on camera. I did have one video where the where the blades dropped off and sort of landed on the track as I was filming the track underneath. If you can find that video, let me know which one it was. I can't remember, but I think I did put it in. I think it was in there. Right, last lot of requests then. This has been a real marathon today. And Henry Cruz, thank you so much, or Cruz, I guess. Hello, sorry I'm late. Can you do Silverlink and C1 Atlantic doublehead? Uh, like a Pullman at full speed, please. Sure, yeah, that is fine, Henry. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, it will be next week now. It will have to be uh, on next week's... Uh, sorry, not next week. Uh, next episode, on next episode's catch-up. But sure, I will do it. That is fine. So, we have Sideways66779 who wanted to see a B12 with some l &E which we have got on the outside line there. And this one is my older B12. I tend to run the modern one. This is the old one, which has the... Uh, realistic chuffing sound it has it but it doesn't actually make any noise I think it might need adjusting which is a shame but that's fair enough then we have the ugly duck man thank you so much to you who wanted to see yesterday's Derby lightweight amazing DMU really really good that one oh must be going backwards because it sounds flatulent again that's all right maybe it will get itself running a bit going backwards it might go away don't know can't figure out what's making that noise then we have uh, 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 William Town, who wanted to see the Duke Dog, which we got right there, with some great Western Clerestory coaches and also some composite coaches. There we go. Went blank for a second there, but we're okay. All right, let's start that. It's quite a lot, really, for the Duke Dog to manage. So if it sort of explodes, burns out, um, we'll be in trouble. It does look as though it's going a bit slow, actually, which is worrying. Hopefully this won't be its day of reckoning. Oh, no, instead of struggling with the train, it's just decided it isn't going to bother hauling it. Well, that is one way to get out of it, Duke Dog, but I'm afraid I can't allow you to do that today. Well, thank you, whoever that was. I'll send Duke Dog back. <laughs> That's a, one final disaster just to end things. Oh, Henry again. Oh, thank you, Henry. It's very kind. Right, let's see if we can get back onto this train. Come on, Duke Dog, you're better than that. Right, I'm, I'm going to make sure that the clerestories are properly coupled to it because maybe that's why it wasn't going right. Okay, try again. Probably need to change direction. All right, should be coming your way any minute now. Let's see. Oh, it's wheel slipping bad. <laughs> oh, dear. Give it a shove. There we are. Yeah, I mean, it's not a powerful loco, that one. It's not got traction tyres or anything. Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm very glad about that, but it does make it a bit of a, a weaker loco, that one. 
Everything else seems to be on its merry way though, which is good. I'm glad to see that. YOLO dog says MDH games, fair enough. Ben likes trains, wants a shout out. There you go, Ben likes trains, no problem. Uh, Scottish train spotter says run the Helgen 1361. We have got a request for the Helgen 1361. Uh, it's going to have to be next episode now, but that's something for you all to look forward to, isn't it? Hopefully Kelly will be able to uh, write to me and let me know why uh, why she wants me to run those diesels with such a, a dastardly locomotive. Hopefully she'll let me know. I, I do think she's, she's hoping that the diesels, which she has a famous dislike for, will be tainted by the shoddy 1361. Well, that's what I expect. But like I say, Kelly, if you're watching, let us know. And have I had one from Rob? Oh, Rob Arnold. Wow. Thank you, Rob. I almost missed you there. That was very kind. Thank you, Rob. Please m run my request live at the start of next stream, uh, says Mayo. Uh, it, that depends, Mayo. Uh, they come... I do them kind of first come first serve just to be 100% fair, but it will be done. It will be done at some point uh, before you get out the request for the next. It's having your request pre-recorded is a cardinal sin and brings shame to your family. Mayo, I'm shocked. No, oh, oh, the, oh, ah, I thought we have a train stopped and then I realized the J50s weren't actually on the track anymore. That camera must have frozen. Let's see if we can fix it. Uh, no, the, the pre-recorded requests are some of my favourite ones because I'm not sort of using my webcams. I get to use my proper camera for it. So the quality is way better and you get really close. You get sort of right close on the action, whereas with these, you're kind of watching from a distance. But yeah, I'll see. I mean, if you're, if you're base, I'll take the next three that were due. and Or do I? No, for the, for the live ones, I'll just pick three that are practical, really, for the live show. Uh, stuff that won't take long to take off again so that I can queue the next ones up. I have to think about that for these live streams because there's a lot of <laughs> running about otherwise. Oh, okay. Run my request, Sam. I can tolerate the tiny rust and shunter. Okay, good. good. Okay, so th there wasn't any evil intent there, it seems, folks. That's good. Uh, yeah, no problem, Kelly. Uh, it will be next time, I think, now. It will be next episode. But, uh, like I say, we can, we can all tremble in our boots waiting for the... 1361 to graces with its unfortunate presence and something funny has just happened i stopped the derby lightweight <laughs> and the motor car stopped and the non-motorized car just kind of sailed on you can just about see it there stopped that was interesting i don't really particularly like those couplings that they used to be honest they're not they're not the best they're a faster couple and a FAF2 uncouple as well, except when you don't want to uncouple them. And that's when they come uncoupled very easily, which is very frustrating. So, yeah, there we go. I hope you like that. I mean, I think uh, Duckman will be quite glad, to be honest, to see his uh, Derby lightweight request go wrong. Because, uh, yeah, he seems to like bringing me discomfort on these streams. Well, folks, I think that was just about it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. A lot of good stuff happened today. I've tried to make it more of a like a variety show. Uh, it's a lot of work, don't get me wrong, a lot of running around and changing costumes, although they're not costumes, they're guests, obviously. Uh, but yeah, if you like the new way of doing things, uh, let me know if you like more variety. Uh, I can certainly do more of it. So you guys get your shout outs in there and I will have a look. Oh, we've got William again. Uh, can you run the TTS Tornado TTS P2 with LNER coaches, please? That's a good idea. I don't think I've ever tried double heading TTS locos before. I will have to try that. Thank you, William. Thank you very much. Right, let's go through and thank everybody then from today. Now, there were some that actually got in before the stream. So Colin got in there. Colin Wikes, thank you so much to you. William Babcock, loads from you today. Lee Tong, 16. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I think I, I did yours, didn't I, Lee? Yeah, that's fine. Taggart00, Sparky129 Games, many times. Thank you so much for your support today, Sparky. E350TB, thanks to you. George Botterini, AZ Rail, the fourth gear guys. Redford's B, Shining Time 4, William again. Alco Random, quite a lot from you today, I think, as well. So thank you very much to you. Sideways66779, the Ugly Duck Man. Big thanks to you, Duck Man, for all you do. And, of course, Mark as well for being a great mod. William Town, uh, Kelly Ashford, thank you very much, Kelly, for all your support jokes aside i appreciate you kelly you know that uh mr sandman lee epic fourth gear guys again mayo hosco davis harringham 
Harry Gan, yep. <laughs> Mark7188, Takuma Sensei, Wami Radio by Christian Man, Louis Buscarino, I think I got that right. Uh, MDH Games, oh there you go, you got your little shout there. Caroli, uh, yep, I did read that one. I'm just I'm just trying to skim read these to make sure I haven't uh, missed any of them being read out. Michael Cohen, Squiddy, Sharky McShark Nose, Dan Salter. Yeah, I did read that one, I believe. Bruce again, have you ever weathered or repainted any locos or rolling stock? No, because I'm useless at that sort of thing. The best I've done is touch up locos. Uh, there's a couple of locos that had marks on buffer beams and stuff. I've touched up, but that's about it. Uh, I printed off a sticker once and put that on Speedy Pete. I don't think that counts at all. I don't even know why I said that, to be honest. But yeah, maybe that counts. I'll throw it out there. James Westwood, thank you so much to you. Steam Traction Spotter, Robert Osborne, William Town, the Duke of Rawson, Kelly Ashford again, Me Un. Uh, can you get the Hornby Hogwarts Express train set sometime? Sure, that would be nice, actually. They're a bit expensive for my tastes. I think I've been put off by the fact that I bought my Alton Hall for like £49. But yeah, they, they are good. They are good, I must say. Um... Wami Radio by Christian Mann, a huge thank you to you. Jay, Harry Chapman, thank you very much. I did read yours, I believe. Dale Gates again, thank you for my soft drink. I actually got some change if you want that back, because my water's pretty cheap. So, yeah, let me know. <laughs> Takuma Sensei, Mark7188, George Warren, Harry Chapman again, Takuma again. Terence Priestley, thank you to you. CFCYABoy06 Gaming, I think that's the easiest way to say it, isn't it? Uh, William Town again, Harry Chapman again. Saber Darith. Yeah, oh yeah, you were doing it. Good luck with your brass locos, by the way. Hope they end up running nicely. I'm sure they will. Uh, Alco Random again. E350TB and Alco Random again. Takuma Sensei again. Bruce again. Thank you so much. Uh, let's let's try and pronounce the second name. I've, I've tried to avoid it. Rob Rob Robichu Rob Robichu. Sorry, sorry, almost certainly that was wrong. Ashton Compton, Kelly Ashford again, Henry Cruz, Rob Arnold, uh, Kelly again, William Babcock, and Bruce again. So there we go. All right, well, bye-bye, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was a fun stream. A lot of variety this time. I feel like I've had my day's exercise too, which is pretty good. A lot of running around while those VTs were playing, that's for sure. Uh, oh, okay, Bruce got the new Hogwarts Express the other day and he loves it. It's so nicely made and detailed. That's true, yeah. The Hornby Hall class is very, very good for what they cost. Uh, I love you, Sam. Bye, <laughs> says SLD51. Thank you very much. That was very kind. City of Truro, City of, says I like trains quite a bit. Yeah, that, I, I would expect that to be popular after I've done the review of it um, in the old request. Hopefully it will be. Me on, goodbye to you. James Martin, goodbye to you. Liam Wilkins, there you go. There's uh, a shout out to you. Ian Welkins, there's a shout out to you as well. Thank you for dropping by. Davis Harrigan, welcome to you. Uh, it is Andy, says bye. Uh, all right, take care for you. Gosport Railways, take care yourself as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Now I'll see you on the last stream, which is going to be in August sometime. So stay tuned for that. Uh, next week, I've got a Backman tank engine to review. So that should be fun. And I've also got another themed running session, another episode of Just Trains, basically, with another theme. So stay tuned for those. Thank you again for your support. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Comment down below if you've got suggestions for the next one, of course. And I'll see you around. All right, cheers, folks. Hey folks, thank you all very, very much for tuning in for another episode of Sam's Trains Live. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with another episode very, very soon. But in the meantime, please enjoy the videos that I'll be posting on my channel till then. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks again for your support, folks, and take care of yourselves.